is the video for routine 101 of the torpedo game. It sets the value of Z to 4, that's how many points there are, and then it does a dot on the point, sets the color to a blue, a light blue, and then does a polyfill, then it sets the number of points to 3, does another dot P on a different bunch of lines, and then does a color of brown and does that fill. That's the blue C and the brown rectangle below it. Then it asks for the time to be modded with 30 and put the value in L. So this value of L is going to go from 0 to 29, 0 to 29 constantly. Every cycle, anyway. Well, then it says, if it's not equal to zero, go down here to BB. But if it is equal to zero, then checks to see if the torpedo count is greater than four, because that's the maximum number of torpedoes you can have loaded. If it's already at four, it goes to BB. But if it's not the four, it adds another one to the number that you can fire. So every second and a half, it allow you to fire another torpedo. However, you can have four torpedo tubes already loaded. Then it goes down here and sets tall to 8, Y to 90, XY position to 755, 300, color to black, and then says branch if less than, the torpedo count is less than 1 to be E. Well, if it's less than 1, the color is going to be black. And that's the indication that there's no torpedoes to fire. But if there are torpedoes that can be fired, sets the color to 90, which is a bright green, and then boxes this rectangle up here and says it's clickable as click number two. And then the very next thing it says, did anybody click on two? If they didn't, go to BE, just go down here and draw the rectangle. But if they did click on it, find out which one of the nine paths they chose and then it says, subtract one from the number of torpedoes in the count, because you fired one now. Set I, the torpedo index. Add one to the torpedo index. Mod the torpedo index with 20. What it's doing is it says the maximum number of torpedoes you can have in the water at any one time is 20. Well, you'll never have 20 torpedoes alive at one time. So this is going around and around in the torpedo index just recording how many are live right now. So then it says well set the torpedo index I to 1. Say that it's the kth path. Then say its direction is the direction of that path. And then here it says go and get the time and put it for the torpedo's time and then here it draws the rectangle. Let's go and look for a second here at the rectangle. It's this green rectangle here. If I would quickly shoot all my torpedoes, it would turn black. See? Not too many torpedoes. Now I've highlighted the rest of the instructions for this routine. It sets points for a line, the X and Y positions for beginning and end of a line, Set Z, the number of points in the line, to 2, the color to black, and then it says for I of 1 to 9, make the points to be drawn in a line for one of the 9, draw the line, then change the 1 point, the X point, by 20 pixels, go around and do the next one. Let's see what it's doing. I executed, it's making these black lines. They all start down here, they go up here, then it adds over 20 pixels and goes to this one, then this one, then this one, and so forth to the end. That's what it's doing in that routine. Now it sets T to the current time. When you mod the time with a really large number, you're all really just going to get the value of the time from the, when the game started. Then it sets A, B to the position of where each torpedo pass starts, X of 800, Y of 400. 
then it sets tall to 20, wide to 8. That's going to the size of the torpedo. Then it does the color red, 900. That's the color of the torpedoes. Then for I of 0, and way down here, it's next I, 19. It's going to go around here 20 times for each one of the possible torpedoes that can be in the water. Well, here it says, first thing, branch if not equal, live to 1. Well, if it's not a 1, it's not live, and it goes to BJ and says, well, just go to the next one because that torpedo is not live anymore. Well, if it is live, it sets the direction, the torpedo's R value for the ith one, sets S, the size of the vector it's going to make, to T, but then subtracts from it the time that it was launched. So now we have how long it's been in the water. We mod that value with 50 to make sure it's not really large. Then we multiply it by 9, that determines how far the vector has gone to where the torpedo is from where it started. Because here's the vector. Here's where it started at AB. But now, after traveling so long, it's now at XY. Then it checks to see if that Y is less than zero. That means it went off the canvas. Well, if a torpedo's off the canvas, it goes to BG here. And here it sets torpedo live for the ith one to zero, meaning that torpedo is no longer live. But if it is live, it says then set the size to 26, subtract from R240. Now it's going to draw the torpedo with the pattern, the same pattern that the ship is, but much smaller. It had to change the R value here for the direction because it had to make the ship face the way the line of the path is for the torpedo. Then it makes the torpedo polyfill, and then it says, save the Y value in the torpedo Y low, adjust it and torpedo high. This it's going to use later to see if this torpedo hit a ship. It's saving the position of Y of the torpedo. Well, that's the end of this routine.